Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is part two of the geo, the Google Geo coding, getting latitudes and longitude. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how you can use that data uh, in a map. So just to quick overview, on the first video I have a simple class that I call it uh, VP Geo coding. And it's just a class that takes arguments and sends you back the latitude and longitude. So it's very simple, not complicated. Um, so what I've done so far, just to go over on the previous uh, video, part one, all you do is initialize your object, pass the address, city, state, and zip code. Uh, I think the state is required. Uh, but not the zip code. So this address I got it from the internet from a Domino's pizza somewhere in Texas. So anyways you type in your address and obviously you need to have a, a key uh, API key from Google and this that's how you pass it and all you do is call this guy. Now then I hear I'm checking the latitude. Uh, when you run it it works fine so I went ahead and already run this and you can see if you want more details just watch my first video on geocoding so the next step is once you have that data how you can use it and over here I have a quick uh, MVC application just ain't nothing uh, special about it nothing on the control just plain control the only thing I'm using here is the the views from the home index which is this one and the next thing you're gonna need is go into your layout and you're gonna need to pass your API key so if you Google Google Maps API version 3 it will give you the getting started um, instructions how to do it so that's the first thing you need to do is get a key API key and you can grab it from there from that page from this page and here's the first one they show you how to use so I'm gonna show you how I did this tutorial from Google but using MVC very simple now before I continue let me show you this detail uh, the Google example shows that you need to have your width and height 100% uh, but for some reason the the MVC framework or the uh, the view does not work with this 100% I think it works on a, a simple HTML page but not on this one so just make sure you change the 100% what I did I just did 100 pixels and 500 pixels height so make sure you change that if not you won't see your map the next thing I did was I just created a a simple button here and on click I'm running a JavaScript so here's how JavaScript works um, there's a sample down here it's somewhere in overlays I think and you go to markers and there's example right here so I'm doing this tutorial here or this sample code so there's some uh, bitches here I don't know where they are so we're gonna find out so these are the coordinates and that's the name and that's the order in which the flags will show up or the icons on the map so what they're doing is they yeah, starting up a, a JavaScript array that's the syntax for it and all they're doing is calling what I'm doing is or what they're kind of doing it is calling the function this is the main function get map and just to start I'm just passing this one center the map uh, using this one the first that's what I'm doing 
and then just copy and paste the code from Google and here I'm calling set markers which is this one on their example they have more stuff so you set markers they're using a custom image and shadow and shape and all that I'm not using none of that I'm just doing this loop so from the array what I'm doing or from the sample from Google is the the since the it's a zero base index on first on zero we're getting the title or the name so you can see here title on the array location it's zero then we're getting latitude longitude and then we're getting the order in which the markers will show up so that's all so nothing special on this JavaScript it works from here from this Google example now in in MVC is the same thing it's like an HTML page just click go so we're gonna see it and just click get map you can see that the markers actually work and this is somewhere in New South Wales wow Australia okay so that's where we are that's the sample we're using like Google using it and then when you click on it or put your mouse on top you'll see the name of each location well I guess maybe not but that's the idea I'm sure it will work Let's see just this one and there's other functions for the map that you can click it and have a window pop up and they're all here in this tutorial on getting started there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with this so if you have any questions let me know uh, from this quick tutorial on using uh, the MVC and JavaScript and the API from Google thank you for watching